All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to add collisions. What I would say is try to let figure, students figure it out. But if you want, you could just show them this video. I, I'll leave it up to you. I did put it in as a uh, try to problem solve, which is something good that I really like about Unreal Engine is the ability to do that. So what you're going to do is select this item and double click on it. And uh, what we'll do is bring it in. And so the problem with this is if we go and press play right now, all the uh, met, met, all the uh, Quixel assets come in with no collision. So look what happens. My character can go right through them and look at this archway, which kind of takes away from, from the whole thing. And if we're going to play it, uh, we'd like those to have collisions. So what I'm going to do now is press escape. And uh, I want to add those collisions. So if I look under here, I have lit. This is the default. If I look on player collisions, well, there's none. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and there's a couple ways to do this. So we're going to go collision auto convex collision and uh, let's see. So we're going to add auto convex collisions and then we're going to click apply and you're going to see them apply it on here. And then if we quickly go and look under player collisions, we're going to see we have those collisions. So now I'm going to press play. I think I saved it. If you didn't save it, it might be an issue. And every mesh that you replicated will have that same. So you see, I these are different, but I can't go through this anymore. Now, that was easy for those. You can do that simple workflow for pretty much everything. But what about if you have something like with a hole in it in the middle? So obviously you want to be able to run through. <coughs> Excuse me. So I will show you uh, how to do that. So again, we're going to click on this mesh and when it shows up, I just double click on this and I'm going to turn this back to lit and pretty much the same uh, thing as the last one. You go auto convex collision, click apply and it'll apply it and then you can go see what it looked like and you'll see you won't probably be able to run through it. No, so we need to fix that. So how do we do that? So under the... Uh, details panel go to where it says collisions and change this to use complex collisions as simple and now if we go to uh, player collisions it's perfect now i'm going to mention that you don't want to use this too much because it's heavy and there are simpler ways to create simple collisions uh, that take time so I, I assume you probably for your environment won't have you know more than two or three or four of these so it should be totally fine for a, an average computer uh, and um, let's just do the quick test to make sure always have your students test whatever it is that they're doing because sometimes it looks like it'll work and boom perfect let's go run through the middle very happy so that's how you add collisions uh, you could do that as a problem solving and see if the students can figure it out they'll probably figure this part out but the, this part is a little trickier and then you can give them the solution. All right. Thank you.